Hi, it's Steve Matza, Tribal Knowledge, episode number five, changing a failed ground fault protected outlet. You can see this is an advanced outlet and it's flashing red, it's failed. When you plug something into it, nothing works. Uh, ground fault outlets uh, should always be used around water or if there's children. And what the ground fault means is if electricity comes out of the hot side and doesn't return into the return side and possibly goes through a child to the ground, it will pick up that the same amount of electricity coming out didn't go back in and it shuts off the outlet. And if you push the reset button, it doesn't reset. So it's completely failed this outlet. So I've taken out the small screws for the cover plate. That's the cover plate coming off. This is a Leviton brand ground fault outlet. Here's a replacement and it's a later model. So now we're gonna take the outlet out of its outlet box and pull it forward carefully, not touching the hot lead, all right? The hot lead is always black, all right? The white wire is always the return wire and the bare wire goes to earth ground, all right? The if copper a, wire. The copper bare wire goes into a metal pipe into the ground. So if there's any kind of short to the out outlet box, if the, you had a metal outlet box and something shorted, the voltage would go to the metal rod in the ground or usually a cold water pipe which goes through the ground. So now we're gonna get up and we're gonna shut the outlet off. You shouldn't work on uh, an outlet while it's still alive. Go over to the breaker panel. Shut it off. And we go back and the outlet is no longer flashing. Actually, I'm gonna turn it back on for just a moment, just so you can see the voltage. We'll take a multimeter. This is a Fluke Model 73 multimeter. It's a digital multimeter. So it shows the voltage on the scale instead of an old analog meter with a needle. I have those as well. So we'll put it on voltage with the curvy line, which means alternating current, as opposed to voltage with a straight line would be DC voltage from a battery. So AC voltage. Let's see, we'll put it here. And it doesn't matter which one you hook up to. Here's black, is the hot wire, and white. And we're reading 124.1 volts on the meter. So now I'm going to shut the breaker off. So we're not working with a live with live wires. When measuring alternating current, it doesn't matter which lead you use, red or black. If you're measuring a battery voltage, which is direct current, the convention is red is always positive. Anytime you have DC voltage, red wires are positive, black wires are negative. So if I was hooking up to a car battery, the red would be on positive, the black on negative, and we'd get a positive reading voltage over there. If we were on an analog meter with a needle and we had the wires reversed, the needle would jam to the left if we had the wires on the wrong poles of the battery. All right, so now we'll double check and no voltage at all. All right. So now we can remove the wires. Remember black is the hot one. The electrons are coming out of this wire and they go through whatever you plug in and then return through the white wire back to the power plant.
Now, something special about the outlets, the gold screw is always to the black wire. Gold screw, black wire. Silver screw, white wire. All right? If you hook them up backwards, the appliance will still work, but some appliances may have an outer metal shell, like a coffee maker, and if there's a short, you might get electrocuted. All right? So the gold screw, black wire. That's the convention with all electricians. So now we have the replacement Leviton outlet. Loosen the screw. This is the earth ground wire. Okay, all the wires are loose. Okay. So we got. white wire on the silver screw. Change it to the, these are universal screws. They have Phillips and straight on them. The Phillips is easier to work with. It stays on the screw better. Nice tight connection. You make it as tight as you can without stripping out the screw. A loose connection can actually burn. All right. that's why they make these outlet boxes generally fireproof. Feed the next wire a little bit slower, please. Get the wire behind the metal blade. Move your fingers. Tight connections always. And now the earth ground wire. Come on, get under there. ground wire always have to have the earth ground wire don't get lazy and not attach it and if the outlet doesn't have the earth ground wire you should have an electrician install one or if you have a, a metallic outlet box you can run a wire from here to the a, a metallic box a metallic box will have a screw in the back of it as earth ground. All right, and we're all set. Now let's see. By convention, the center ground pin faces down. So it looks like that. It looks like a face, two eyes and a, a mouth or a nose. The outlet should look like a face.
Okay, cover plate. And where'd the two little screws go? <laughs> Here's one. Give you the other one earlier. If this was upstairs, the wife would kill me for putting a white outlet into a beige cover plate. They only had a white outlet. And we'll find the other cover plate screw. Maybe I put it in my pocket. Right there. Okay, you can see it. Gotta be careful not to over tighten the cover plate screws. You make the screws too tight, it just cracks the plate, which I've done before. This is a standard multimeter AC volts, DC volts, millivolts, that's thousands of a volt, ohms, which is resistance. That'll be another explanation, tribal knowledge on another day. And then we have amps to measure current. That'll be another day we give you some primers on multimeters. And we're gonna turn the basement breaker back on. Okay, so we just changed the outlet. Now I wanna make sure it's working properly because I have to uh, plug the sump pump into it. So I don't think it's gonna work right now because I don't see the green light. Nothing doing on the phone. We've got to hit the reset button. All right, now it's green. We've got a little green light. Let me get, let me get that. Yep, can see it. And as we plug in the phone charger, yep, we got a good outlet. The phone is now charging. And I will plug in the sump pump again. And we're good to go. Keep watching. Steve Matz is signing out.